Happy Thursday, readers. Today for reading workshop, you're going to need your reading notebook, a pencil, your green ELA folder, and a glue stick. Go ahead and open up your green ELA folder, and on the left side, you're going to take out the teach pages. The first one that says, what makes a good summary? And then the second one that is going to be used for our, um, our modeling of how to create a summary that says somebody wanted but so then. The rest of the pages keep inside, close your folder, and then you can go ahead and tuck that away. Go ahead back to your reading notebook and we're gonna open up to yesterday's lesson where we were able to craft a theme statement based on the read aloud picture book of Chrysanthemum. You should have filled this out completely and sent me a completed picture of that as well as your common theme statement. We're gonna go ahead and turn the page and we're going to write this as page 47. When you're done writing 47, go ahead back to your table of contents. And you're going to write 47. And today we're working on summary. How to write a summary. So it's 10-15-20. Go ahead and turn back to today's pages. We're gonna take the two pages we just took out of the folder the one that's gonna go on the left that says page 47 is the one that says what makes a good summary. Turn that page over, use your glue stick, crisscross, and smooth it down. And on the right side, you're gonna do the same type of work. Go ahead and glue around. And go ahead and insert that. So we are transitioning into how to write a summary based off of reading a independent book, um, a read aloud book with Mrs. Ling, and we're going to be able to follow a very strict format in order to make sure that we are covering all of the important um, parts of a story. So we're gonna start at the left. You can use one of your highlighters and highlight the title, What Makes a Good Summary. So we're gonna go ahead and read some of the points and highlight important information. So the first point says a summary only includes information from the reading passage or the book. No additional information is needed. So I am going to um, box the word only and then underline no additional information is added. So we're not adding explanations. Um, we're not going to be adding our own thoughts. This is only focused on what the author provides in the actual story. The next part says a summary explains what the author or character thinks. So we're gonna box the word explains and then what the author or character think and it does not include your own opinions. So that part is important because this is not an opinion essay as we're working on um, in writing. This is strictly from the author. So I'm going to highlight two different sections. So the one is the word author. That way we remember these are author's words, not your own thinking. The next part says a summary includes only the most important de or ideas, enough details to tell the important ideas, but not too many unimportant details. So once again, let's box the word only, underline the most important ideas, and then we're going to put, but not, so not too many is also gonna be boxed. The next part is, it says fiction summaries should include the main problem and solution. So we're gonna highlight fiction, and then we're gonna highlight where it says include the main problem and solution. So we have to know what the author is uh, telling us within the plot. So what are happening with our characters? We talked about characters struggling and changing because of that struggle. Well. The struggle is what the problem is relating to, and then the solution is how is it resolved in whatever way, a happy ending, um, a sad ending. There are different ways of resolution. And then the last component says a summary includes your own words. Do not copy sentences word for word from the passage or book. So you're using your own words, you're just not including your own thinking. 
So that is the difference between the two. So we're gonna highlight, include your own words. And then we're going to use our pencil and say, not your thinking. So we use a very specific format in order to write a summary of a book. So we use what we call, and we're gonna write this, let's write it in, um, let's do it in a highlighter. So we use the letters S for somebody, W for wanted, B for but, S for so, and T for then. So we follow the format of following these five words in order to write a complete summary based off of book. So for this particular one, it says somebody, and then it gives us the guiding question of who is the main character. The next one is wanted. What did the character want? So we're gonna use our highlighters just to help us remember the who. The wanted is what did the character want? but is what was the problem. So that's when we're identifying what the problem is in the story. So it says, how did the character try to solve the problem? So we're gonna put try to solve the problem. And the last part is then, what was the solution to the problem? So we're gonna put solution. So today for our classwork, we're going to be um, filling this in as an example of the story of the tiger rising. So I want you to think back about um, the story that we read together and how we could um, talk about the character of Rob, um, what did Rob want, what was the problem he um, had to face, and then what was the solution in the end. So we're going to be filling out information on each of these. So the somebody, the S part, we're gonna say, well, who is the main character? We're gonna say the main character is Rob. The next part is wanted. What did the character want? So when we fill out our wanted part, we could say, well, Rob wanted and pay close attention because I am including the word wanted so that I know that I've included this portion of the summary. So Rob wanted to keep the tiger in the cage, period. The next part is the but. What was the problem? So our problem we're going to say is Rob and Sistine didn't agree on letting the tiger go. The next part is the so how did the character try to solve the problem? So we're gonna say for the so, we're gonna say, well, Rob and Sistine asked Willie Mae what she thought and then the solution, the then, we can say they let the tiger go free. So we were able to follow the format to identify who the character is that we're focusing on. So Rob, what was the problem or what did the, I'm sorry, what did um, the character want at the beginning, so Rob wanted to keep the tiger in the cage. The but would say Rob wanted to keep the tiger in the cage, but he and Sistine didn't agree on letting the tiger go, could be one complete sentence. The so is the introduce, um, introducing of the 
sol how are they gonna solve the problem? So Rob and Sistine asked Willie May for her opinion, but the actual solution came to an agreement between the two characters to let the tiger go free. So we were able to recap and summarize what happened in The Tiger Rising by identifying character, the problem, the solution, and any other attempts at solving um, of this problem. So today you're going to be listening to the picture book read aloud that is attached to your assignment, and you are going to be asked to write a summary. So go ahead and get out a sticky note. Your sticky note is going to follow the same format that we have here. So we're not going to write in a paragraph yet. We're gonna just take some notes. So we're gonna set up the somebody wanted, but so then. So when you listen to the read aloud um, of the picture book today, you're going to be filling in each of these sections because once you have taken your notes during the reading, you can then create your paragraph. So all I'm asking for you to do today for your independent work is to listen to the story and then fill out the who the character is, what did that character want, what was the problem, what was the attempt at solution, and then what was the actual solution or the end of the story. So follow the format from the video and then submit a picture of your completed um, sticky note as well as your two pages from your notebook. So you have three things to submit today for reading.